I'd like you to lift your voice and your hands up. Just make sure your heart is lifted up to God. And praise his name for life. Life is the greatest asset God has given to man. And life is the greatest target the devil has against man. One assurance I have is he that is not the author of your life has no power over your life. Lord, thank you for giving me life. I acknowledge that you are hand. I acknowledge that you are power. I acknowledge that you are spirit. And the preserver of my soul. The Bible said that in a keep it is when neither, neither sleep nor slumber. You will not slumber in keeping my life. Neither will you slack in keeping my life. Open your mouth and express your gratitude to God. I worship you, my God and my King. Thou art my God from generation to generation. Thou art my strength. Thou art my shell. Thou art the giver of my life. The preserver of my life, the sustainer of my life, the activator of my life. Bible says you was life and the life became the light of men. Lord, I've come this morning to thank you for my life. Thank you for the life you have given to me to spend. Thank you for the candle of your spirit that empowered my life. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you adoration. You are the eternal God, our refuge. You are the ancient of days. You are the lily of valley. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. I worship you. The beginning and the ending. The first and the last. The Alpha and the Omega. The unchangeable changer. The air gave off. Jehovah make a camp. Our righteousness. Our provider. Our shield and our buckler. Our glory and our strength. We honor and adore you. We worship you. The Bible said that unto God I answer a prayer. Shall all flesh gather. Lord, we have come to you to pray to you. A God that inhabits our prayers and our presence. We've come to you, O oh God, in your altar to call upon your name, mighty and mighty, that those mighty time without measure. Lydia Paragabaka Pasute, Igede Kapatusi Kapaya. Linia paraba roka patu si kapa irege de prana mane praka paya irada di dia parana ne kapa sutia irege de ge de ge deha ilia parana ne paraka pa irede pa sutia paramana le de gata gata ikarama ne pa sutia irege de pakara pakaya pakara regada ramana mano supro kapa ilada di parama no kapa Sukataya, Lidia Parana Nesakata. You have kept our life from January to this day. Only you can depend on this plan. How we survive this nears. Bible said that he that digate a pit for us shall fall into him. And he that rolleth a stone, this stone shall roll, shall, shall papaya on them. Father, the Bible says, Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it, and he said, In Jesus' most precious name, we have prayed. Our prayer this morning is against. 
witches and wizards. I'm sorry. By the way I'm seeing things happen, there's no need to pretend anymore. They exist. And the only weapon we have is to call God against the oppressions of witches and wizards. And the one that says that you are their problem, God will take over. You, you, you have failed. Rather than praying to God to help you to rise up, you want to bring those that you are seeing that are standing. You want to bring them down. The oppressions of the witches and wizards is the oppression of hammer to bring down things that are standing. Be by the grace of God, whosoever want to bring you down, we go down for your sake. Yeah. I told you on Sunday, on Monday, on Friday, make sure that as you live on the earth, that your hands are clean. I told you. I warned you. Mordecai's heart was very clean. His heart was very clean. And he was committed to good work. So when the enemy stared up against him, God rose up. The Lord shall rise up for you. He shall rise up for your children. He shall rise up for your marriage. And nothing that wants you down shall go down for your son. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, on this 19th day of December, anointing that will deliver you from your enemies shall fall upon your life. God shall help you to meet needs. And I say to you today, mighty power of God shall connect you to opportunity. You shall meet your needs. In the name of Jesus. Are we here? My scripture is Psalm 27. It is the scripture that killed the witches. Praise God. Verse 1 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Or whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2. When the wicked, this is how David survived. He knows how to pray some prayer. He doesn't pretend. He was not too righteous to recognize that the wicked are there. So he took the wicked to the altars of prayer. We're taking the wicked to the altars of prayer. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, what happened? Who is it that can eat up the flesh? Three, the wicked. The enemies and my foes. I don't have time to define them. This is not Bible study. This is prayer meeting. So you can understand that by prayer. He says, so they are there. If they are not wicked, okay, they are silent enemy, envying you and expecting you to go down, or they are your foes, putting stumbling block like hammer on your way for you to make mistake and stumble. The Bible says, they will stumble and for why? Because the Lord is with you. Verse 3 and the last one. Though an host, what is an host? Host of enemies, group of enemies, shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me, in days will I be confident. This shall be a season of defeat for your enemies. Can I hear somebody say, The Lord is my light. The Lord is my heart. Shout it like you mean it. I am not afraid of darkness. The Lord is my strength. He has become my salvation. Therefore, O oh God, arise. Cause your light to shine upon my life. Cause your glory to shine upon my life. Cause your power to shine upon my life. The Lord is my life. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my salvation. 
Even before I pray, he laka ba laka ba laka ba laka da. He laka 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 da. He laka 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 da. By laka laka. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my light. Cause your Lord. The Lord is my salvation. Upon my life, He will give me strength. He will give me shield. He will give me strength. He will give me power. He will give me glory. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. You are my strength. The Lord is my strength. And Jesus never pray. Look at verse one. The Lord is my light. Let me hear you shout it. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? You will pray. Oh God, my father. Oh God, my father. You are my salvation. You are my salvation. Break your silence. Break your silence. Arise. Arise. And save my life. And save my life. From every end of the year wickedness. From every end of Arise. the I save my house from every end of the year wickedness. I save my family from every end of the year wickedness. I save my life. I save my house. La ya la da. Ira kada ba da ba. Ega ra kada. Ira kada. La kada kada. Ira ba ba kara ba da. La kada ba ka para ma. Save us from wickedness. Save us from death. Save us from evil. Lord, oh God, you are my light. You are my glory. You are my Father. Manifest your glory. In tapakata dada, zede bagagada yada. Oh God, arise, arise and save me. Save my family. Akata bada, shepaye posha. In teke de 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 gada dada dada. Arise, save me. Say Jesus, may we pray. Amen. Today, your weaknesses shall turn to strength. Verse 1 again says, For the Lord is my strength. Is my defense. Whom shall I fear? That's something that makes you afraid. That you begin to cry how you can stand and survive. But this morning, you will remember that the Lord is your strength. You will not fall. You will not stumble. You will not miss it. Amen. Can I hear somebody shout? The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. Oh Lord, arise. Oh Lord, arise. And manifest your power. And manifest your power. In my life. In my life. Arise. Oh, and bring down, bring down the power of the wicked. Of the over, wicked. My over my oh, life. Oh God, arise. Oh, God, arise. And show your strength. Show your strength. Amen. I show you a strength in my heart. I show you a strength in my heart. I show you a strength in my life. Arise, 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 
said I hear that this loss is greater than they that are in the world. When they come into you, they see you are God. They stumble and they will fall. Anyone that have gathered together by witchcraft and wickedness to eat up my life, which means to kill me, in my place in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray Ah, oh, the power that I got oh, together that to eat up my blood to kill me, and I end of the year power that God oh, together oh, to eat up my blood. Oh, I command oh, you, die in my blood. I pray, God, I pray, witch, I pray, witch, and now that God together to eat up my blood. I cause you, die. Help my brother that you have done for me. Elaka, Laka, Dagata, Elaka, Baragata, Elamana, Madabata, Elamana, Bragata, Brando Sanda, Elamano, Totia, Kapa, Elamano, Nepara, Bragadaya, Rakabada, Daya, Ekasha. Akutaba, Impalegedeba, Shatayakata, you that come as an enemy, die, die, you that come as a foe, die tonight, today, Ayataba, Ekolabala, Shatabolegedebe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The place where Haman prepared for Mordecai to keep to die. Was the place that he died. Are you hearing me? I I know that the Bible has said, said to the righteous, it shall be well with you. And the Bible said again that God delights in the prosperity of the righteous. Okay? But he said, said to the wicked, it shall be ill with you. And the Bible says, suffer not a witch. Anyone who does not like your progress and want to kill you because of your progress, I pray you will not see the end of December 2023. Amen. Do we pray, oh God, arise? Oh God, arise. Like tsunami, like tsunami, invade the camp of my enemies. Invade the camp of that my want enemy. to kill me because of your hand in my life. You want to kill me because of your hand. Let them, them die. Let them die. In my blood. In the name of Jesus. Let them up. Ragada, palagada. Ragaya, ragada, ragada, ragada. Ragada, ragada, ragada. 
Ya la capa, ta la brata la da. E capa, e capa, e capa. La gada, la gada. E la ga, la ke sunana. La ke wai wai. O God e ve. E capa da wicha. La ke sunana. E ve e capa da wicha. La ke sunana. Ara, ara. Fight for me, fight for my wife, fight for my partner, fight for my pastor, fight for our member. Arise! Invade, invade, leave no stone unturned. No one will escape. Father, invade like a tsunami. Invade the camp, cause chaos, cause chaos. Invade, invade. Ayagada, Iapa, Apalakata. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Psalm 28, verse 1, say, Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me. Are you here? Least, if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. David survived by what they call aggressive warfare. They have no mercy on the wicked. Because the wicked has no mercy in their heart. I want you to pray. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, you are my helper. You are my helper. As the year is ending, as the year is ending, break your silence. Break your silence. Over, my over my challenges. In Taben and my life. In Taben and my health. In Taben and my finances. In Taben and my expectation. Lord, arise. Do something. Do something. I got whatever the devil is doing. Do something. And show that you are God. I pray for you in Taben. Let there be supernatural in Taben. It's <laughs> And end of the year intervention, intervene in everything that concerns me, intervene in my marriage, in my home, in my academics, in my health, in my finances, in everything that concerns me, Lord, intervene, intervene. In Jesus, my today we pray. Amen. Stretch forth your hand. Let me show you verse two. Of Psalm 28. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee. When I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle. Thy holy oracle is this altar. He said, Hear me when I pray. Hear me when I lift up my hands of battle unto you. Hear me when my hand is lifted up in your holy altar. And Father, invade the altars of the witches where that are trading with my life, that are trading with my house, that are trading with my name. Are you ready to pray? Oh God, arise! Invade the altars of the wicked. Destroy their missions. Frustrate their cancers. Bless upon their craftiness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, arise! 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 Lord, from this altar, from this holy mantle, invade the altars, invade the altars, scatter them, render them useless, render them powerless. They cease to operate. They cease. To and operate. Jesus, now we pray. Amen. 
Verse 4. One thing have I desired of the laws. And 27. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire in his temple. Nobody will pluck you out of the hand of God. Amen. David said my desire. Is to dwell. In the house of the Lord. To see the beauty. The beauty of God is the presence of God. When you trade in the presence of God, when you walk in the power of God, just be sure that you are in His presence. As you walk by the streets, as you go to your business, make sure that you are just in His presence. In all your journey, make sure you are in His presence. Be conscious about it. That is what the devil said. That's the only place where the devil will have no power. We're seeing some clips in recent time. If you are carrying God's presence and somebody is carrying the evil, the evil will begin to manifest. Praise God. You are shadow we perform miracles in this season. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Today, I know you are not a witch. Therefore, you shall live and not die. Amen. The word of God says, suffer not a witch to live. A witch may live if you are not their business. But if any witch is anywhere and they say you are their business, from this morning, they are cut off from life. I sent thunder, thunder of God to the altars of witches where they are shedding blood. Let their own blood be shed. In the name of Jesus, I send the word of God to the altars where they are troubling homes and let God give them supernatural trouble. I send the word of God to places where they are taking decisions for accidents and death on the highway. Let them fall flat and die. By the grace of God, Hallelujah. you will see the end of 2023. Amen. In a grand style, Amen. every elemental symptoms of death yeah. and sickness in your body, hear the word of God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command you to be destroyed. Amen. My soul shall not die. Amen. My daughter shall not die. And the one that digging the people, your death shall fall into the pit. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you will trade in God's presence. God's presence is a supernatural magnet. It connects you to opportunity. It connects you to royalty with loyalty. It connects you to places of value and honor. As you move from this meter, every blessing you have have been desiring, it shall begin to locate your heart, locate your name. Everything that has been pending and unpending and pending, hear the word of God begin to drop in the name of Jesus. You will see this in time in 2024. Amen. God will not be silenced over your life. Amen. You will live. Amen. You fulfill your destiny. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me have the faith where family please kneel down before the altar. Very soon they will travel to go and honor their father and their grandfather. Their journey shall be smooth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the journey and project of honor, they shall be saved. From this altar, we send you to this journey of honor. And I declare there shall be no stumbling block. There shall be no barrier. There shall be no evil. Any power, any voices, any man. From now on the highway and in your city, waiting for you to dishonor the hand of God on your life, I caught them all by fire. I destroyed them by fire. 
I break your power by fire. I release anointing or touch not. Anointing or hand not upon your life. I declare that everything you need, everything you require, shall be in abundance. The Lord will put a burden of your favor in the heart of men. The Lord will honor the day. The, will, the Lord will honor you with good weather, with journey messes, with an abundance of provision, and with a beautiful burial project. At the end of the burial, your life will start. Your legacy will start. And as you are alive to honor your father, on the days of your honor, your children will not be missing. The Bible says if a man have thousands of children and live thousands of years and died and has no burial, it would have been better that he was not born. That shows that it's very, very important that at the day of parental honor of burial, that God's name be honored. The Lord will honor his name in this project. We send you forth and we shall receive you back to this altar in the new year. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands and come forward. Let me anoint your hand again. I'm anointing you for preservation and for protection. Praise, praise God. The faith will just touch your head and take oil in your hand. You are anointed again for preservation, for protection, for the last minute manifestation of God's appointment on your life. Those of you on social media, take an oil in your house and anoint your hands. You are anointed for preservation, you are anointed for preservation, anointed for honor, anointed for protections, anointed to live and meet all the needs of the season and the hour in the name of Jesus. You are anointed to live and fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. You are anointed to live and fulfill your destiny in the divine plan. In the name of Jesus, you are anointed to live and fulfill God's appointment on your life. In this season, everything in your heart shall be a testimony in your life. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no death in your camp. And the blessings of God is released upon you. You shall live, you shall fulfill your destiny. And your joy shall, have, shall know no bound. I pray today if the enemy have anything to do with you, they are cut off. In Jesus' name. You are anointed to fulfill your appointment in divine plan. You are anointed to fulfill your appointment in divine plan. In the name of Jesus, you are anointed to fulfill your appointment in divine plan. You are anointed to fulfill your appointment in divine plan for 2023. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, if you made a pledge on Sunday for a Bible, please give us the money. And then if you have not also offered to buy us a Bible, at least I ask people to buy Bible. Just one Bible. Those of you online, we want you to respond to the Bible project. We need more Bible. We also say that we need more rice to meet up other needies. Those of you that made pledges during the Thanksgiving, we also expect you to please start redeeming them. Thank you, and God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. If you have an offering, come drop it at the altar. Remember, tomorrow is a midweek service by 6 o'clock. God bless you. God bless you. Were, you. were you blessed this morning? The good news also is that uh, one of our daughters will be coming in any moment from now. She will be getting officially engaged. And then um, you will hear the news much, much later. So many miracles are happening around us. And your own is by the corner.